I hope y'all are. This episode, still continuing with the theme of Women's History Month. You know how we get down. Beverly Harvard, the first chief of police in a major city that is a black female. Boom. And if you think it to yourself, I bet you it's Atlanta. It was Atlanta. Yeah. That's right. It was Atlanta. Who knew? Atlanta's just a whole nother level, man. Like, Atlanta has always just been a whole nother level. It's one of them joints, man. A few things I want to say before we even get started in this. When you hear the clip, you're going to hear a lot of coughing. You're going to hear a lot of, uh, you know what I mean? Here's the issue with that. Here's the reasoning for that. We are out here in Cincinnati, and the weather is ridiculous. I don't understand it. In the morning, 7, 8 in the morning, it could be 68 degrees. By 12, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, it's 31 degrees. Vice versa. You wake up one morning at 31 and stayed all day, all night. Now you walk out the door about 9, it's 35 degrees. You go, okay, cool. You got you cuddled up, you huddled up. By 12, by 1, it's 72 degrees. Like, yo, and I, I, feel, I want to say I'm making this up. I'm not. The weather is crazy. And from what I hear, it's kind of like that all over the place. Don't know what's going on. My girl loves to go. It's all about, you know what I'm saying? The, the, uh, select, natural selection is what she called it. It's all about natural selection. If you're strong enough, you're going to get down. All the weak people are going to get sick. And boom, boom, boom. Everybody is running around here with their face mask on again. Rightfully so, because everybody's coughing and wilding out and, and piling it high. So everything is just, it's crazy. And I got caught up in it. You can hear it on the joint, you, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, what I have to talk about, we got to talk about it. And before I even get into this, I have people telling me two things. Man, you talk about politics too much. It's life, man. I, I, don't, I don't know what y'all, I could talk about other stuff, but I talk about what's what, you know what I mean? And then I have people still going, I want to see videos. Salute to the to YouTube viewers who who are like, yo, okay, so there's no video for this. It's just this picture and audio. Nah, I'm not here for that. But so people, here's the thing for the people who listen through through the um Apple Joint, Spotify, Samsung, whatever y'all listening to, you know what I'm saying? Salute, salute. Yeah, why would I make a video? And then it's like, I, and Spotify's like, yo, you can make a video and we'll post your video. I'm not doing all that. It's not that serious. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I go by the way I do it. Even when I watch a podcast, I can watch the Shay Shay Room and still end up just, it's on. I'm not really, unless it sounds like he's about, somebody's about to make a suggestive move or something, or like somebody said something and you just want to see the look on their face as a response. Nah. Same thing with uh, Drink Champs. These are stuff I know that had, you know what I mean, I listened to that got video. Yeah, I'm not. I even watch the joint with Mace and Cam. I'm unaware of if there is an audio only joint, so I watch it on YouTube. Or I let it play on YouTube, put it that way. Yeah, it's just playing and I'm doing other things. Jazzy Jeff is a outlet that I watch. It's like, listen to. I let Jazzy Jeff play. And I go about my business, but Jazzy Jeff has a whole video. I don't care about when they cut screen to the people in their houses. I don't care about none of that. I'm just listening to the music. I'm that person. So when I do this, it's that. Like It's almost like when they had these audio books. Uh, uh, people are now like, yo, I want to watch what the people look like who make the audio books. You're just watching. You're listening to the audio. Mmm. It's just one of them things. I feel bad when people go, yo, you ought to make videos. And I'm like, nah, I'm good. Dude. I'm, I'm, it's just... And I get it. This I've seen dudes sit there and just talk. And I'm just like, that is wild. And have cut angles. 
I've seen dudes videos where it's just one dude talking and there's cut angles. Like there's a side view. Then there's a, you know what I'm saying? Then there's a wide shot. I'm like, what? Like, hold on, hold on, B. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's just you. You mean to tell me just this angle couldn't do? You really got like there's angles? Nah, what? Nah. There's cutscenes for this? You playing. Anyway, Kate, Brit, God, what in the world? 17 minutes of your life that you feel like, second of all, the 17 minutes was too long. Let's keep it real. The 17 minutes was too long. First of all, the people who trained her, the people who schooled her, the people who suggested this is how you should do it, the people who who helped organize her 17 minutes those people should be fired those people should be fired the people who came up with the set because that was a backdrop that was not a real those people should be fired i don't care how great your high definition is and all that it looked you know what I'm saying? it was so fake that when i saw the joint on saturday night live i was like yo that's what i'm saying it looked fake there was nothing real about that. You might as well have just been outside somewhere in a yard. You, it, you know what I mean? Come on. But the people who told you to say what you said, to have the emotional inflections that you had, to, to up and down on your roller, emotional roller coaster, to give off this thing. One minute you look like you're smiling, then the next minute you look like you're mad, but your madness doesn't look genuine, so it looks fake. No. No, 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 don't, don't do that. Whoever told you to do that is wrong. Whoever told you to bring up the, 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 the rape thing, they're wrong. They were wrong. They, if that was something that you were suggested and they told you no, and you were like, no, we're still going to do it. That's on you. But if somebody was like, yeah, you know what? Throw this in there. They set you up to fail in today's world. They set you up to fail. You got to, you said this. And as, as you were saying this, people were already on top of the fact that that was wrong. While you were giving that part of your, your little rebuttal, people had already done the, done the fact checks and were like, none of this is straight. They had already done the fact checks and were like, none of this is real. All of this is, she, it's, no, you misled the people. In today's world, you're going to just mislead people. You don't do that. We're not allowed to do that. We can't do that. We shouldn't be able to do that. There should not be anyone in your in your group of people helping you come up with your speech that goes, yeah, throw that out there. Who doesn't have the knowledge to know that, yo, somebody is going to look up this whole thing and find out we've misspoken no all of this is actual it's just the time frame we're getting wrong the place we're getting wrong we're cheating a little bit we're lying a lot nobody 17 minutes with no answers pointing out problems with no answers then you have tiktok being banned it's in the process of being banned we're banning tiktok but we're not trying to figure out what's going on with these fast food places trying to raise prices on mediocre food, which ultimately will result to everybody raising more prices. Somebody explain that to me. We're banning TikTok, but we're not going, hey, 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 Wendy's. No, we're not going to let you do that. We're not going to allow you guys to play that game. No, because opening that door with you means that can open the door with everybody else. We're complaining about the wrong things. We're huff huffing about the wrong things. And I get it. Only reason we're going at TikTok is because it's bad. All social media is bad. Have you been on social media lately? Everything is bad. All of it. All of it is misleading. All of it is divisive. All of it is just crazy. The problem with TikTok is TikTok can't be controlled by us. TikTok is like out here in its own world because it's not an American product. Meta is. And here's the wild part. There's other 
social media outlets just like TikTok. Americans can't get to it because America's like, mm, no. They stopped them. Couldn't get to TikTok fast enough. TikTok took off too fast. You know what I'm saying? But if TikTok is a problem, how are um, the gas prices not a problem? Food prices is not a problem. How are what we're going through financially not a problem? Schooling is not a problem. It feels like they're grabbing anybody and going, teachers left, you could be the substitute. If you're the substitute for the rest of the year, you're the interim teacher. And you're going, oh, we don't need our substitutes to have anything more than a GED. You're sending interim teachers with a GED or high school diploma to teach children. The same reason these teachers are leaving because the game is crazy. You're now bringing in other people who have no training. You have to go to school to be a teacher. This ain't back in the day where it was just like, I have a little knowledge and I love children and I want to be an educator and they go out here and they just grab Russell up a bunch of kids and they teach them. Nah, this is a thing now. This is an actual profession that you need to be taught how to do. Like there's a schooling thing. There's a, you know what I mean? That's my point. The government is worried about TikTok and they're not worried about that. They're not trying to figure out what do we need to do for our teachers and the school system because we're failing the teachers now. Trust me, I'm, I'm all for the fun and games of the disaster that is, that is social media and watching teachers go hand-to-hand -hand combat with students as illegal as it is. It's like, yo, nah, you make them take my phone and they go in and do what they do. And then these teachers are like, I lost my job anyway. Put the, and put them hands back on them. You're like, ah, 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 mm. Where is the defense where we now have to start holding these parents accountable? Remember, we used to hold parents accountable. Like if it got to the point where your kid was wild and the parent was like, uh, whatever, what you gonna do about it? It went to the legal system. It became a legal matter because apparently this trouble is embraced, harnessed, cultivated, accepted at home. This ain't something where, oh, they just trying to be like they friends or they just trying to be cool for the streets. No, 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 no. The crib is going, yes. Because remember back in the day, that, that's how I grew up. Man, look, if your parent came to school to hang out with you for the day, ooh, we. Matter of fact, it was such a ooh wee moment that ain't even had to be your mama and your daddy and you was like, mm, you ain't wanna show out. Everybody was on their P's and Q's, especially the kid's parent, the, the, the kid who had their peoples come up there. He was definitely, she was definitely, they were definitely on straight and narrow. They knew all the answers all of a sudden, like, hold on, man. We, you ain't never answered no questions. We thought you was straight, illiterate, and dumb. You want to get on the board and write answers. Like, what? You ain't never raised your hand to do this. Well, that's what, who, who is this kid? Now, all of a sudden, you want to do it. Why? People is in the back watching mm, and going, mm-hmm. Every time, the teacher is like, what? And the teacher got to play like this is just your style. Like, okay. Oh, the whole class is on t on top all of a sudden. Like what? Even when they go to lunch with you, you ain't ain't y'all ain't talking about the same stuff no more. Everybody's kind of like, hmm, is she still here, man? Cause a parent's job is to maintain that. Now they're just like, we don't care. So the teachers don't care. The school system doesn't care. The government is not stepped in to go, yo, we probably need to handle this. They're worried about TikTok. Or there maybe maybe what it is is they're blaming it on TikTok. That's that's because we got TikTok out here. As if the gram don't do it. As if Twitter ain't doing it. I don't even know do people still use Snapchat. As if Snapchat ain't Snapchat ain't doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like social media is social media. It doesn't matter if it's TikTok. Pointing TikTok out is like pointing Walmart out. It's like pointing McDonald's out. 
you're pointing these more famous ones out, but everybody's doing the same thing. Like, yeah, Walmart's not good to their employees. Target was like, yo, we'll give you more money, but nobody's getting full time unless you're a manager. That was stated as a fact once and never brought up again. But that's how Target works. Unless Target has changed its, its get down. But that was what Target was doing, right? They were like, yeah, we're giving you guys more money, but we're cutting them hours. So you basically still are making the same money. Ding, ding. But we're going to talk about Walmart. Burger King, Wendy's, KFC, Five Guys. All of these places are paying their people about the same. McDonald's is a bigger franchise. So McDonald's is the problem. Which is wild. Because you'll get somebody who works at Subway going, Psh, McDonald's sucks. How much you make? Oh, snap. You literally make 50 cents less than a McDonald's worker. But McDonald's sucks. How is that possible? Perception. TikTok sucks. So does the gram. So does Facebook. So does Twitter. It all sucks. But it only sucks for Americans. They did the thing where they were like, the people in China who, wait, that's where TikTok is at. They don't do the same TikToks. That's not the same joint. Like, their tick, the way they rock with TikTok ain't even the same. So you're banning something that could be controlled, that can be navigated through, and could be um, used properly. Facebook started out of nothing but something for college kids, college alumni. Facebook is a whole different thing now. Facebook is a whole different beast now. Facebook had hate groups on it. People were selling sex on Facebook. No different than TikTok. You see the same joints on Facebook, on TikTok. What makes Facebook different than TikTok? The government is always focusing on the wrong things. And that's not a Republican thing. That's not a Democrat thing. That's a politician thing. I said this the other day to somebody. We need Karens to start complaining about the food prices. We need Karens to start complaining about the housing market. We need Karens to start complaining about just the overall perception females have on social media we need karens to start complaining about that kind of stuff because it's karens that shut everything down those were housewives slash karens that put the advisory stickers on joints that's how we got those they were like oh my god listen to this music two live crew was basically the culprit nwa was the culprit but it became a thing we had Karen's restructure the, 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 the viewing rating for television and movies. We had Karen's restructure the way we rate video games because they complain. Oh my God, look at the stuff my kid is doing on this game. Look at the stuff my kid is exposed to on these games. No, my five-year-old should not be out here doing this kind of stuff. No. We need cameras to feel this way about the other stuff. But the problem is, the cameras are just like everybody else in America, divisive. It's like we, we all know what the problems are, but we're so busy thinking somebody's gonna get over, so we're not gonna complain. That's the problem. But I'm not gonna talk about all that, because this ain't about that. This is Women's Month, and I wish these women, these Karens, Stepped in and did mo. Karen's, don't just be wasting your time up in these stores and, and jumping in people's business outside of their house going, oh my God, this is your house? You can't be living here. And then, no. Karen, go to Mac, go to Wendy's. Go to Wendy's about 1230 and be like, oh no, I am not paying $13 for this burger. Who does this madness? And then we can have something happen. That's what we need you to do, Karen. We need you to be out here with your husband looking for a new home and going, oh, this is crazy. The prices that you got, no, no, not for this neighborhood. 
Karens. We need you to do that, Karens. We need your kid to come home and be like, man, why'd you... We don't even get to talk about anything because, first of all, our teacher isn't even a teacher. He's a substitute. She's a substitute. They're a substitute. And then there's a whole bunch of ruckus going on in the classroom all day. I don't get to get to do anything. I'm so stressed. Fix the school system. That's what we need, Karen. We need a Karen to be out here one day just hanging out and going, you know what I'm in the mood for? A canned soda. And go, oh my God, they want a dollar and some change for a can? What? Because the can sodas, by the way, are like a dollar. Someplace, and apparently that's the minimum. Somebody told me they was like, oh, I was somewhere and it was like a dollar twenty-five for a can soda. RC. Not even Pepsi. Well, I'm pretty sure the Pepsi was there too. Pepsi might have been like a buck fifty. RC. A dollar for a can soda. A can soda. Nah, man. Karens, come on. Y'all need to get out the house more. Y'all need to be, I don't know what it is. I don't know what what it is Karens do, but they used to be a little more mobile and, and used to make things happen. Like, yo, comp complain about these DoorDash prices. You know what I mean? I didn't feel like putting, putting anything together, so I ordered something from DoorDash. And, you know what I mean? It cost a hundred and something dollars to feed my family and the food came and it was cold. And then when I complained about it, DoorDash was like, we'll credit you. Or my food never even came. And they credited me. We need to do something about this. We need Karen's to do something, man. I know I said I was gonna move on. I'm my bad, y'all. Moving on. This episode, we talk about it. We I think we actually no, we don't talk about the TikTok. We talk about the Spotify thing, which I can go into detail on Spotify all day, and I um, I think I almost did on this clip, but that's not the point. Spotify is now also under attack, and they're like, yo, but we again, we talk about that on the thing. We ain't gonna bring that up. Beverly Harvard, salute to this woman. I am not gonna go out here and tell you that she's the first. She is the first in a major city, meaning in small pockets, yeah, there probably are some other people. That's just how that goes. We only worry about big cities, major cities. So salute to her. This is about her. This is about Beverly Harvard. Thank y'all for rocking with me. We don't have video clips. What we do have, and even those aren't video clips. We have the little joints every once in a while on social media somewhere where we post a little joint like, yo, boom, 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 and check out the podcast. And people do, and then they're like, oh, man, I was expecting a video. There's no videos, yo. I keep telling y'all there's no videos. Who wants to just watch this? Well, yeah, I was going to I was just going to watch a black man talk and move his hands as he speaks about whatever he's speaking about. Nah. But anyway, thank y'all for listening. East Coast, West Coast, Worldwide. Lost Boys, thank you worldwide. Man, thank y'all. International play, internationally recognized, globally accepted, always respected, respected. Woo! Always respected, respected. Whoa. Uh. What? Always respected, respected. Mmm. I'm out here doing a, doing a little shoulder shimmy while I say all that because I'm... Anyway, thank y'all for rocking. Let's do what we do. Yes, yes, yes. We gonna keep it right. There for y'all. Uh, I keep it right. There for y'all. We gotta keep it right. There for y'all. Hey, yo, we zoning. This is how I feel good. I love it when it's Saturdays like this. I'm like a little mood, you know what I mean? I don't know where I want to go with it. It's like, just throw some joints out there. Let the, let, the, let the world ride with it. You know what I mean? It's that joint you do when you was like, I don't know about y'all, but when I was a kid, I walked out the door with no real idea where I was going. I was just go. You know what I mean? I was just out. I won't even, you know what I mean? Like, I was just gone. I was like, just on, on the streets, just roaming. Went through mad adventures like that, but you know what I mean? 
That's what you do when you when you when you ride like that sometimes. It's this this is the way it go. And we gonna do what it is, cause we know we it's that time of the night and all that. But um yeah man, I love this right here. This is how we get down, this is what we do, uh. Yeah, yeah, uh what? Yeah. What? I'm playing. Anyway, so let me tell y'all something. I don't know if y'all know, but um the legal system is running up on Spotify and Apple and all these people who are out here going, yo, you gotta get this many streams just to get a penny. They running up on them. They running up on them. I'm like, yo, I saw it the day salute to Jazzy Jeff, cause like I saw it through Jazzy Jeff's joint and I was like, yo, that's dope. The house is aiming to raise the streaming royalties for artists. And they say, yo, you know what I'm saying? That's not, they're going to just break it down all the way, but they're going, yo, we're going to add more on top of what you're already getting because they're trying to come up with a thing, a living wage for artists, which is what it's supposed to be, you know what I mean? Because the whole game is streaming. They don't want you out here really owning anything. And, um, and that's what I keep trying to tell a lot of these, these younger dudes, like, yo, the real deal, the real money is getting them to purchase a copy of your music. You know what I'm saying? Like when they buy that, like the street, like cause stream, look, it's, it's a, I don't even know how to say it, And I don't have time to really break it down, but I'm gonna put it like this. I'm gonna put it in a, in a, in a, in a quick reference. You're asking Spotify and Apple to pay more than they're getting, technically, right? You know what I'm saying? Like you're asking them to pay the artists more than they're actually making. You know what I'm saying? Like Spotify's highest subscription is like $16. So for $16 a month, I can go listen to Snoop's whole catalog. Snoop has over 300 songs. You know what I'm saying? 300 songs. For $16 a month, I can listen to everything Snoop's ever recorded as far as that goes, like in his catalog, all his albums from 20, from 1993 to whenever the last joint he actually dropped, all the joints he's featured on, all his compilations. For $16 of my money, I can listen to all of Snoop. That's not counting if I feel like I want to listen to Jay Z joints. Well, not Jay Z, but um, Nas's joints. That's not counting if I want to go listen to Little Brother. That's not counting if I want to go out here and start going, yo, now I want to rock some Alicia Keys. I want to listen to Pink Floyd. I want to listen to, you know what I'm saying? I want to listen to some Led Zeppelin. I want to listen to some Nina Simone for $16 a month from one person. That's all I put in the game was my $16. How do you, how do you calculate that? You know what I'm saying? Now, don't get it twisted. You're supposed to get something if somebody is listening to your music. But what I'm saying is, how are you going to, how do you break my $16 a month down to Snoop when I'm listening to his whole catalog? I can listen to it for whatever reason, be in my own zone and want to hear Doggy Style every day for the next three weeks. Every day, play it three times a week. I can do that because I paid my $16. You know what I mean? Like, that's, it's a hard... And I'm not saying that Spotify's broke. Trust me on that. I, I get that part. They're not broke. What I'm saying is, how do you quantify that? You know what I'm saying? How do you make that happen? And that goes back to, a lot of these artists don't sell their music. That six... You Even if you went out here and was like, yo, I'm going to pay 99 cent per Snoop, Snoop song. Snoop has over 300 songs. Snoop gonna get money off of me just off of that alone. Every time I wanna, you know what I'm saying, just off of me purchasing it. That's a quick little 300. If I wanted to buy the album, that's whatever, whatever. If the album, buying the album comes out cheaper than play, paying per single, but I'm like, oh, on this one album, I only like two songs. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's out here. Nobody says purchase music. Salute the bad boy G and Lisa Lisa. For those who listen, y'all know they're always like, yo, tell them how to get a coat, like get a get a hold of the physical copies. Yo, y'all, y'all making vinyl. You know what I'm saying? They're always asking that. That's that. Then when you hear somebody else on a like when when these dudes roaming around here on these podcasts and all that, and they're like, yo, tell them where they can hear you at. Tell them where you streaming at. Sway your tech, sway not sway your tech. 
Sway says that every time. Like, yo, tell them where they can listen to your music. Tell them what platform they can listen to your joint. Go check they joint out on Spotify. There's no money in that. He, Sway ain't going, yo, sell your music. You see what I'm saying? But I get it. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a step in the right direction. Is all I'm saying. So salute to that. But that ain't what we here to talk about. What we here to talk about is what we do. It's that time of the night. Get it up, get it round. Uh, I'm getting it light. Ooh, girl, uh, I'm kissing on your body. Cause I knew you was a hottie. Uh, I'm up in the party. Then I smelt somebody. Your man's over there, got them onions under his arm, and he don't really care. He giving me the glare, the death code stare. Dude, you stink, got he smelling everywhere. Chicka, chicka, uh. <laughs> It happens. Don't act like y'all ain't never been to a party that was that one dude stinking. But for whatever reason, had a nice little flock of chicks was hanging around him. But he cool though. Man, my man smell like straight butthole and armpits. And y'all out here just like, oh, he cool. His breath stink. Hair ain't cold. But then you just like, yo, but I do this. And y'all don't be like, you can't even come up in the party. By the way, dog, this is his party. Oh, all right. And his house got roaches. Yeah, every, every once in a while there's somebody moving their arm because the roach rolled on me. Like, hold on, we in a roach infested house. And he had a party. Oh, everybody got to shake their coats out when they get outside. Anyway, that ain't what we here to talk about. Roach parties, let's go. <clears throat> take it from the top. We're going to take it from the top like this moment in black, black history. We're going to talk about. Beverly Harvard. She was the first black female appointed to be a police chief in a major city. That's right. I said it. That's just some dope joint. She was born out there in Macon, Georgia. You know what I'm saying? And she was like, yo, and here's the wild part. She went to college at Morris Brown. You know what I'm saying? She got a bachelor's and um got a got a got a bachelor's of arts in sociology. In 73, her husband and a friend was like, yo, we bet you a hundred dollars that you can't become a police officer. She won that. She got that. You know what I'm saying? She did the whole foot patrol joint in the late 70s. You know what I'm saying? Then she became director of public affairs. In 1980, you know what I'm saying? She handled a lot of like crazy joints and she was always the person that, you know, that stands in front of the camera and talk that talk. You know what I'm saying? So what happens is at some point in 1994, she gets offered Atlanta chief of police. She takes it. She becomes the face of Atlanta police. She goes through a whole lot of joints because there was a lot of, if y'all remember the 90s in Atlanta, it was wild. They had the Olympic bombing joint. You know what I'm saying? They had shootings. They had all kind of joints going on. And she was the face going, yo, we need to figure out what to do. She didn't reapply for the position during the 2002 movement. She was like, yo, I'm done. But Obama came through in 2010 and was like, yo, I want you to become, hold on, hold on, bring a beat back. I want you to become the United States Marshal for the Northern District of Georgia. Boom. And that's the position that she held until 2019. This is what we talking about, man. We talking about greatness right here when we do this. Salute, salute, salute. You know what I'm saying? Women's. Gots to, gots to love them. You know what I mean? Bam. That's all I'm talking about. And we talking about Atlanta. I saw somebody. I heard, I heard a white dude go. He really didn't know how black Atlanta was until he got down there. Like, dude. What? That's what they, they, hey. Hey, I don't even know what I don't even know how to respond to that. I'm just like DC, Maryland. Like hey, hey, I don't know what he's saying is he was just overwhelmed by the I think he was saying he was overwhelmed by black businesses that weren't the typical stereotypical black businesses. Because a lot of places do not, I, I repeat, do not get that opportunity. Um Killer Mike said when they did the airport thing that it was a black owned business that put the um 
the the tarmac stuff down. That's what I'm talking about. Like a lot of like as, apparently in Atlanta, like yeah, black companies get to bid and like when they were having all these things go down, a lot of that was always a thing. No matter where you are locally, black companies always feel they don't get that shit. They're not gonna get that chance. Like yo, dude, they ain't even gonna look my way. In Atlanta, apparently. Yeah, the, the door is open. It's an equal opportunity moment. And and people take that opportunity and they rock with it. So salute. And and salute to um Beverly Harvard. You know what I'm saying? Moving up in the ranks on the on the cops. Black cop, black cop, black cop, black cop. I know this ain't about her, so I'm gonna stop. And we gonna let the music now just rock. Black cop, black cop, black. Yes, yes, a. Hey. Hey, oh my mama, I'm up inside the hood. Ain't been in the hood for one minute, cause it's good. I'm living kinda fly, wings is expanded. Y'all know who the man is. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I lost that right there. I lost, like it. It was a fumble. Fumble! Somebody picked up the ball and ran with it and just finished the whole bar out. Yeah, son, I got that rest of that bar for you, son. But anyway, my time's up. Thank y'all for rocking with me, man. If y'all understood what we had to go through to get this one jumping off. The electronic, the electricity in the whole area went out early for hours, for hour hours, you know what I mean? Then there was some other stuff that went down, so it was, it was a crazy day today. But anyway, we here as we do what we do, which makes something like this even more special when we get down, you know what I mean? But I'll let y'all Wednesday for show, for sheezy. <laughs> <coughs> The weather is out here crazy, man. Like it was, it goes from like 60 something to to 30 something in a heartbeat. Like, like you know what I mean? Either way, day or night, you know what I mean? One morning you wake up, it's like 67 degrees, close to 70 degrees. But but that by, by time like the 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 lunch, the people going coming, kids come home from school, it's like 20 degrees. You know what I mean? It's just the weirdness. They be like, that's Cincinnati weather, man. That's every place. Every place has these. Cr- these crazy drastic switcheroos, you know what I mean? It's, 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 it's how it is. I mean, it's like that everywhere. Everybody say that joint everywhere they go. Everywhere, everywhere you go, somebody claiming that's how I get down where they from. Let's not play that game. But anyway, that ain't what we here to do. We here to get up out of here, man. I'll holler at y'all later. Word. <clears throat> One time for the mind. Two time for the body. Three time for the soul. Represent everybody like, uh. They say you only live once. That's a lie. You only die. Once. So any time that you got allows you to get out here and reclaim your, your journey. Look, I be butchering up my own joint. But keep your stride on and keep your head up and let the world know how you do with the way you do and how you move. But keep it popping like positive vibes uh, and vibrations. James Brown, rest in peace. I'm going to holler at y'all Wednesday. Y'all be safe. Peace. This is a Soul of Art presentation. Nation. Nation.